welcome back to the channel. Let me tell you about where we've been and where we're going. Let me show you right now. Tanya and I put these posts down last week. Uh, I'm so proud of how straight they are. And then we come in and put these trusses in. And then we've got the company, a company come out here uh, that is putting the roof on for us. Now we had to change, you know, we have to adapt. It's, it, it, these guys are putting uh, the roof on, so they have to follow rules and regulations that we as property owners don't have to. So the, we had to switch from using our lumber from the, for the trusses to using uh, stamped wood. So if you look up here, this is all two by, I mean, two by sixes, stamped wood. And it breaks my heart that we can't use ours, but we have plenty of other places that we're gonna use it in the barn, and that's okay. We put this post in. This is gonna be a 16 foot wide garage door that we're gonna build ourselves. If you look up at the top here, you can see where we just got a temporary two by four clamped holding that into place. We're gonna drill holes in that and put these big GRK screws in. And that's just an additional support. It's not, probably not necessary to go that crazy, but I want to. So today we're gonna to get the second post in place, which will make the 16 foot wide door. Get all these drilled at the top and put the big GRK screws in. And then something I'm excited about, we are going to build our own uh, garage door. It's gonna be like an aircraft hangar door that folds up in the middle. It's like a bifold door that folds up and we'll take you on that journey too. Uh, I just can't find the door that I want, so I decided I'm gonna build it, and I like fabrication. So you guys come on, and we'll get this job started today, and enough, what is, that, what does I say on my sawmill? Less jawing, more sawing. I gotta figure out something for less jawing, more work. Let's get to it. January. Oh, it's February. The other day it was a few degrees, and then now it's, I'm sitting out here working without a, without a jacket on. It's still cold, though. It's not cold. You do hot nature. You got them people up north, and they got them negative 20s. Now that's cold. This ain't even remotely cold. All right. Move that string over. over. Bigger too. Come on. Get some of that dirt out that fell in. You knocked the dirt in? Yeah. Huh? It knocked a whole bunch of dirt back in. You, you knocked the dirt in? No, when you pulled it out. That's you, why I'm here with the shovel. You knocked it in. With the shovel. Just so I had the run post on bigger. No, it was just, it no. fell in when you moved it out. No, I know you do. Yeah, when you pulled it out, a whole bunch of dirt fell in. I just moved the dirt away from around. Me. 
Is that what you get? This stuff's heavy and musty. Clay sticking on your shoes. Gizmo. What you gonna get? He's a dog. So gross. He's gonna, he eats poop. Ew. And Even that's gross too. And dead things. That's gross too. What a dog does. I'm trying to make him into something he's not. <laughs> he's Gizmo. I don't know, but he's gonna do what dogs do. Sock, rock salt at the bottom there. Just cutting a clean hole. Okay. That's all that I want. All right, now we gotta go get the post. All right, so that fast 2K is really poofing up there. It's a, uh, it waterproofs this, these posts and it, it it's way stronger than concrete. I'm, I'm tickled to death with it. Plus, it's just a whole lot easier to work with. You just throw the bag away. You don't have to clean up concrete stuff. If you're, if you're, if you're uh, DIYers like us, or even pros, actually it makes a lot of sense for pros too. Okay, we got this post in the ground so we this is going to be a 16 foot wide door and then we've made enough space on this side that we can put a double door which means like for the small tratcher we can take the small tratcher and go in and out a double door for example if we have the truck in here and it's being waited you know i'm waiting on a part i, I can't uh, i can get in and out of the shop with a small tractor if i need to also down here on this end where the lean to is going to be or where the lean to is at now we're going to talk about putting a garage door, a small garage door down there. So we'll have three entrances that, uh, at least two that uh, the tractors can go in and then like a small uh, side by side or ATV or something can go in out these double doors. So we're going to wrap this up. It's, it's amazing how much work goes into just putting one post in the ground. But these things have got to be so straight and so true. And this is not our day job. This is a, we're winging it. So it, it, it's a lot of trial and error. Listen, I appreciate you watching our channel. I wish you would, if you could, uh, please subscribe. It really helps our channel grow. God bless, have a great day.